All right, hey Taurus. So you guys, I am doing um, a you versus them read. I don't think I've ever done one of these before um, where I'm going to be pulling your, um, your entire energy and the person that's on your mind, their energy. So you'll either resonate with this or you won't. Um, check your other placements if you don't feel like this is your read or whatever video you feel drawn to. I kind of feel like... Um, Kind of feel like that's what's going to go on in this read so if you guys are subscribed and you want to check out the playlist uh, whatever title you might feel drawn to um, i don't know why i'm saying it for this specific read but i am if you're new welcome to my channel you guys i hope you do subscribe and so i'm pulling the overall feel of um, the read which is this could be the one all right you've already met the romantic partner you seek all right, and that, that goes for the person that's on your mind. And we're going to clarify that and see what kind of position you guys are in. So for this, for this uh, Taurus read, why is this card coming out? This could be the one. So here's what we have, um, or this could be the one. All right. Um, we have justice coming out. Um, and you guys, if you've been here with me, um, I do refer to this as, uh, the karma card. All right. So I kind of feel like with justice coming out, um, for this read Taurus, uh, that, um, the universal, um, energies might have something to do with the, um, guidance of this connection. All right. Um, this is a karma card and I feel justice is, um, being served on this union between you and this person as a, um, source of good karma. All right. Um, it's very positive. Um, with the three of cups, I feel like you bring each other happiness. So this could be, um, a newer, um, union. It does not have to be. All right, and then we have the Eight of Coins. Um, so with this right here, because I kind of feel like this is a newer connection, um, this um, could be that you guys met around um, a work situation. Um, again, it doesn't have to be, um, and it doesn't have to be that this is new. It could be that, um, um, you know, this card is, it, it could be um, indicative, indicative of um, wanting to work on the connection. So, um, let's just see what, what else is going on. I want to see, um, what is your, what is Taurus energy right now? What is Taurus's energy when it comes to this? All right. Yeah. Okay. So your energy um we have the wheel of fortune and queen of swords coming out all right so um this could just be a representation of um, who it is it's on your mind with the queen of swords energy um this indicates um, um somebody who's been through relationship before all right um uh, this is um a good parent um a successful person um, this is funny, sarcasm, um, witty sense of humor. And with the wheel coming out on your energy, um, this also kind of places um, the universe or you are um, actually wondering if the universe didn't align this or send you this person. All right. Um, the wheel of fortune is a, it's a good card. Um, it's like um, um, out of nowhere, um, good, good things happening. Right. And I feel like in your energy, Taurus, you're just like, um, you know, God or the universe sent me this wonderful person and, um, it's a very happy feeling. So you're, you're in the energy right now where I feel like this person is on your mind. Um, I feel like communication is, is um, the, I feel like you want to tell this person um, everything that you think. All right. But I feel like your overall energy is, is pretty good when it comes to this connection. 
So let's see what your person's energy is. So overall energy coming out on your person, we have the chariot and the sun card. So this is very, very happy energy. Um, the sun is the happiest card in the deck and the chariot is all about forward movement. Um, you know, win, ambition, success. Um, this is, um, this is somebody who, who goes after what's it, what they want. All right. Um, I feel like this person's goal is happiness and they know how to create it and go after it. Um, there's a lot of major arcana coming out, you guys. Um, I feel like that's just a confirmation on what, what kind of connection this is for you, Taurus. So let's see what your current situation is. If you guys need to switch the, the um, roles, go ahead and you can switch them. What is Taurus's situation? We have the page of coins and the six of cups. All right. So, um, Taurus for your situation, um, this is all about new beginnings right here. The page of coins, this is um, about being able to see a future. All right. Um, see a future, um, with, uh, this is children right here, the six of cups. So you could actually be seeing, um, long-term, um, um, stability with this person. All right. Or that could be your focus right now. Um, just working on the stability of your future. All right. I feel like with the six of cups, um, this is, um, this is, a uh, the nostalgia right here. Um, this is kind of, um, I almost feel like you're, you, this person put you in the situation where you could actually see like an end goal to a relationship where maybe you've never been in a relationship where you could see the end goal. I feel like um, this person puts you in this energy where um, you're all about building. You're all about building. Um, and this person could be um, a... Um, they could be a positive formula for you to be more ambitious when it comes to thinking long term, especially if you've never um, um, felt that energy off of a person. So what is what is their situation? What is this person's situation currently? All right, so we have the three of swords and the tower card coming out. All right, so. I'm going to clarify these cards because their energy overall is coming out pretty positive. Um, the tower card is, um, uh, okay. All right. Now, I, okay. So, um, what's going on with your person? Um, I feel like, um, before you guys, um, met, okay. Um, they, they probably could have endured or gone through a lot of heartbreak. All right, the tower um, did come in reverse. And so what this is saying is this is a catalyst for positive change. So um, I kind of feel like um, um, I kind of feel like whatever um, whatever energy this person was in before you guys met, um, it was pretty it was pretty horrific. OK, um, a lot of heartbreak, um, loss, chaos, whatever. Um, but the tower did initially show up in the reverse. And so what this is telling me for this person's situation is um, I feel that you have been a catalyst for positive change and growth in this person's life. All right. So where they had heartbreak before, you pulled them out of it. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe unbeknownst to you even. All right. Um, and then with the uh, chariot card coming out on the tower, which is the catalyst for positive change, um, I feel essentially uh, you've you, you've um, you've helped this person grow. You've helped them grow, Taurus. So how do you feel about this person? We have. Oh, wow. How do you feel about this person? Look at this. Taurus, you have um, you have the magician and the star card coming out for how do you feel about them? Um, so you could be looking at this person as um, somebody who's who's magical. All right, um, this magician card is all about manifestation. Um, it's it's magic. All right, I feel like this is a very positive card and it's also a representation of divine masculine energy. So um, I feel like you see this person as somebody who's very aligned, all right? And with magic and the star card, it's like this person knows how to make um, their dreams come true and you see that in them, 
Um, I feel like you see them as a very powerful person. They go after what they want and they get it right. Um, and I feel like that's good. That's, that's good that you feel, um, like that about them because when you feel um, like that about that a person, um, you kick that energy back into you and, and it gives you, um, that mindset for positive power. So how do they feel about you? How does this person feel about Taurus? All right. So, um, the nine of coins, um, Here's what I feel. Um, I, I don't see this as um, you guys being in complete union yet. So you could just barely be dating with the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups coming out. All right. I almost feel like you guys um, are barely dating, or um, it, it, you, you haven't came into full union yet. All right. But I do see that they look at you as somebody who's pretty ambitious. All right. So you're 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 motivated to make your money. Um, and also the nine of coins is um it's a wish fulfillment card all right this is um this is a um, this is ambition right here and with the knight of cups they could just see, see you um um kind of putting them in this honeymoon phase all right um this is dating it's making love it's um you know taking somebody on dates um this is it, it, this is love it's romance okay so i feel like they i feel like you kind of put them in this um when it, when they think about you, you put them in this um, daydreamy state of mind. All right, I feel like they look at you. Um, I feel like you guys are you guys um, love each other. That it's like even if this is is new, I almost feel like it's like love at, at first sight. Okay, I feel like you guys are just um, like it's like genuine happiness. It's not even. Um, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't explain it. But you guys are very sincere about this connection, even if it's new. So, what are your desires when it comes to this connection? We have your des the biggest desires are wanting to um, stabilize it. All right. Um, I feel with the page of swords, this is about new beginnings. This is, um, a success too. It could be that you haven't actually, um, expressed a lot of your feelings and emotions to this person. All right. This is communication and the queen of cups is um, a very, very loving energy. Um, so with this right here coming out in your desires, it could be that you want to tell this person exactly how you feel, but you haven't been, um, in a position yet that to, to where you could actually do that. So I feel like coming out on your end, you haven't even, um, opened the, the, the note. All right. Um, on how much you want to tell this person. And I feel like that's, I feel like you have a lot of desire to express, um, more than just strong feelings. All right. And. But the page, page of swords, um, that's also about delayed news. So maybe you just haven't um, got there yet. But let's see what this person's desires are. When it comes to Taurus, what is this person's desires? We have... So there's a lot of... Um, there's nines. We've got nine, nine. Um, you guys could be seeing nine, nine a lot, which indicates the end of a cycle. So when it comes to this person, um, I feel, you know, um, in that state of mind that you met them in, this is the wounded warrior card. All right. The nine of wands is somebody who's been through a lot of shit, man. And I feel like with this person's desires, it's like, I, I want to be done. I, I just want to be done going through the shit. Okay. I just want, um, something, um, stable, long-term steady, something solid. That's a success. I want my best friend, my team, my teammate, you know, I want my teammate for life. I'm, I'm done. Um, this person's done being wounded, all right. Um, and I feel like in, in their biggest desires, um, they want they want the one, all right. They want the best friend, the one that's never gonna leave. Uh, they're done. They're done going through pains and hurts. So let's see um, where you want this to go. Where does Taurus see this going? Where does Taurus want this to go? You want commitment with this person. You want commitment, but I feel like you have not expressed everything you want to express. All right. I feel with the four of coins and the ace of coins, this is um, somebody who's protecting their heart and this is about commitment. All right. So where, where, where do you want this to go? You want, um, commitment with this person, but I feel like you, you're not sure yourself. 
all right um it could be that this is new it could be that um, this is a reconnection of, of something um, but i feel like with the four of coins and, and the ace of coins this is new beginnings and this is somebody who's being stopped by new beginnings so um, i do feel like you want it to move forward into com commitment but um not right now okay i feel like there is something holding you back from kind of expressing that and this person where do they want this to go where do they see this going all right so for some of you guys look at that they're coming out with the ten of coins this is ultimate happiness so with the eight of cups coming uh, i'm going to keep it like this because some of you i do feel like this is new and for some of you it could be a return um, which is what the eight of cups um, in reverse indicates coming um, it's coming back to somebody all right or or um, you know if it's new it's like walking away from all the past shit um, into the arms of, of there you go Taurus all right king of coins energy right there um, this person can see um, everything with you all right um, they don't they want you so let's ask the universe where this connection is going for Taurus and the person on their mind. Okay. So here's what I feel. All right. Um, so I feel like with the Nine of Swords coming out, this is just saying that um, when it comes to being able to speak to each other and say how we feel and what our desires are, um, the anxiety, the fear, um, all of that stuff is, is going to go away. All right. And it's going to give you guys um, the room and motivation to say how we feel. And I feel like that's what the Queen of Wands energy is here for. So we find our confidence. We, we find our esteem. Um, we find what, what will work and what won't work all right when it comes to this connection and we speak our mind the queen of wands isn't shy queen of wands has all eyes on her um she's a go-getter she's somebody who's very ambitious all right and i feel like that's where um the universe is saying you guys are going to come into this uh, this energy where you express how you feel all right and i feel like with the knight of swords coming out this is saying that's going to happen sooner rather than later okay and ultimately um there is going to be a new a new beginning there is going to be the new beginning or the entrance into um this solid phase in life this is the twin flame card 11 11 marriage celebrations happiness and right here with the full card this is um it's like we're, we're gonna jump in okay and i feel like for some of you this is um already happening all right or it, when it does come in it's gonna happen fast okay so overall, very, um, very positive read, Taurus. Um, I'm going to leave it right here. I hope you guys will comment. Let me know um, who it is we're talking to right here. All right. Love you guys.